What's up guys, it's iAppleTech, and today Apple has released a preview of the new OS X Mountain Lion, which is 10.8. Now in this preview, they have released messages as a beta for people who do want to download it and test it out. Now messages is, you'll be getting a taste to see what is coming in the new OS X Mountain Lion, and when installed, it replaces the iChat. Now messages is just like iMessage on the iOS platform for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. But when it does replace iChat, it services will continue to work just like normal. And like I said before, it's just like on the iPad, the iPhone, or the iPod Touch that has iOS 5 or higher. So, so some of the features that you can expect with messages include sending unlimited messages to any Mac, iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone. You can start a iMessage conversation on your Mac and continue it on your iPad, iPhone, or iPod, which is awesome. You can send photos, videos, attachments, contacts, locations, and much more from your Mac. So if you want to send over a picture of your screen or something, you can go ahead and send that to a friend. You can launch a FaceTime video call and bring the conversation face-to-face. -face. So you can do that from the Mac to an Apple device, such as an iPhone. And lastly, Messages supports iMessage, AIM, Yahoo!, Google Talk, and Jabber account. So basically, if you guys really like to see a preview of it, I highly rec recommend you um, downloading the beta of it. Now, it is a beta, so there will be bugs, but Apple is going to update the iMes iMessage uh, frequently. So I will provide links for the message beta in the description below, so you can go ahead and download that, or go on Apple's website, and you can get a tour of the new OS X Mountain Lion. So once downloaded, you must have version 10.7.3 to have messages on your Mac, so go ahead and update your Mac. Then what you want to do is, you'll see a nice basic interface here once downloading it, and you have your basic composing a message here so you can type out a person's name or their phone number and it will look from your contacts list to see who's available here so here if I go ahead and send out a message you'll notice it's just like on the iPhone or the iPod touch with iOS 5 you can see the three dots there that do that shows that I am typing out a message so it works just like that and if my person here go ahead and sends a message you can see the three dots are just like on the iOS 5 with iMessage. So there is subscribe to Apple Tech too. A little winky face just for good measures. So this is basically uh, how it looks. You can FaceTime right here with the little FaceTime plugin. You can start multiple conversations with new people. You can go back. Uh, you can search for people here. What's nice about it is they also have smileys which you can um, incorporate and you can also send uh, files such as pictures, videos, different stuff like that. You can go ahead and just whole different types of um, customization that you can do with messages. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give a like up. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, homies.